There aren't many volcanic structures in Australia that really stand out as impressive anymore. With erosion whittling away much of the ancient volcanic arcs that existed in virtually every state in Australia at one point in time. But there still are a few impressive sites, and Tweed Volcano, along with the more better known Mount Warning, which was formed from the volcanic plug of the now largely eroded Tweed Volcano, is without a doubt one of the more impressive volcanoes to still grace this great country. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the largest volcano in Australia and discuss a bit about how this volcano came to be. Tweed Volcano has a very impressive elevation of 2,300 metres, and it hosts the largest erosion caldera in the Southern Hemisphere. As the name suggests, an erosion caldera is a depression created purely through erosion rather than from any explosive element like one would expect from the more explosive Plinian level volcanoes that are located at subduction zones around the planet. The opposite has happened here. Mount Morning is the name of the present day mountain that is actually a volcanic plug, meaning it was created by magma hardening within the vent of the then active Tweed Volcano. This can be a really bad situation if the volcano is still active and if it's explosive in nature as the plug can promote the buildup of massive amounts of pressure. But for the Tweed Volcano, this plug would be the last burp, so to speak, that Tweed would release. Only it never made it out of the neck of the volcano, and thus it solidified. Volcanic plugs are strange in that they're more erosion resistant than the volcano around them. So oftentimes, entire volcanoes erode around the plug, leaving some pretty incredible sights that one can witness at locations all around the world. Carrying on from the last video that I released, where we took a look at the volcanic origin of the Glasshouse Mountains in Queensland, which is just a little north from here, the link to that video is in the description, Tweed Volcano was also fueled by the very same hotspot that Australia has slowly been travelling over, called the Cosgrove Hotspot. This means that whilst Tweed Volcano is a shield volcano, and a damn impressive one at that, it's also a mixture of many different magmas, with many different intrusives occurring here, from cyanite to peralkaline granite, monzonite, dolerite and microgranite. A testament to just how diverse the melts were when the hot basaltic magma from the Cosgrove hotspot began to rise and melt the ancient Permian to Triassic volcanic rocks that existed in the bedrock here. Just south of Mount Warning occurred some very strong explosive eruptions that comprise the falsic part of the Lamington Volcanics Group, which is a group Mount Warning is also included within. So this volcano has released a diverse amount of magma, alternating between effusive and explosive eruptions during the few million years this volcano was active. The last eruption released by Tweed Volcano occurred 23 million years ago. And today, the erosion is so pronounced that the central feeders of the volcano have been exposed. But in general, Tweed wasn't just some boring volcano that released gentle basaltic flows that slowly worked to construct a mammoth-sized structure that exists today of explosive and effusive volcanic eruptions that released lava in some events and pyroclastics in others. So this is the story of the Tweed Volcano truly one of the most spectacular volcanoes to exist in Australia. Even though it's heavily eroded and is a shadow of its former self, it's still one of the most incredible volcanoes that one could witness, especially with the extensive erosion that has occurred, because it really does allow you the unique ability to actually peer into the bowels of a volcano. Thanks for watching.